Hi. So, it's been cloudy lately and I was just trying to show you guys why I'm going to expand my solar system. If you look here, this is the grid power I used. And if you see all these high blue spots, that's when I've had my car plugged in. Plus, you know, we have heat running also, but we have heat running at night too. But these high, high spots are mostly the car. And there are, you know, you can see down here how there's spots where it's higher also. And that's the heat. The car uses a lot more power than the house does. So this is why we're expanding our solar. Currently we have 12,000 watts of solar. But if you look here, you'll see that there's 6,000 hooked up that is monitored by the solar assistant. And if you look, most of the time we're only producing 15 to 20%. It's been cloudy and it's been trying to snow and stuff these last few days. And then uh, we're not getting our battery charged up all the way all the time. We did, we did uh, a little bit, if you can see it over there in the green down here. We were charged up most of the way for a little bit last night. But charging the car, this is that spot where the uh, car was charging. It ate that up. And this is where the car warmed up this morning. The nice part about this car is it automatically goes into warm-up mode. So it'll warm up before you drive it. And I thought that it would be nice to show this. And with the uh, added uh, solar, and we're probably going to add some more batteries here later on. But you go over here, okay, and you see the grid used. It's been cloudy and it's not been that great of weather. And you come up here and the April 8th and 9th, there is zero from the grid and only two on the 7th and the 6th was zero. But you get up here where it started getting cloudy and snowing and stuff and you get 7.8, 21.3, 4.4, .4, and 8.5 off the grid these last four days. And you can see it here on the graph on the left, all the red going up. Okay. And we do have solar um, that is being produced that does not show up on the solar assistant. And part of that's going to change. I think we're going to have three inverters hooked up here with about, it'll be 14,620 watts of solar coming in on the, on the graph. Right now there's only 6,000, the yellow here, that's only 6,000 that shows up on the graph. So that's going to change a bit here before long. And you can see the days where we use more. Like here on March 22nd, we use 8.1. This here is the worst day, the 22, 21.3. You know, so... Some days are worse, and most of that's due to our our vehicle. After we got the vehicle, you can see how it spiked. If you you know you can see the April down here. Uh, 
Under grid used, April showing 62.4 and March is showing 18.2. February is zero, January is 3.8. And I think I bought this in like January. So yeah, you can see where I bought this at the end of January. Okay. And for some reason, February was a lot warmer. Okay. And you see March and then April. March, I used more energy, but there was more sunny days. You can see that 661 kilowatts used. Okay. And the solar PV, that's not actually showing everything that came in. So, but if you notice the 18.2 and then the 62.4, we're using more of the grid power right now. And uh, that's, that's the car. We've had the car a month. And... Uh, so yeah, it's going to cost us a little bit more money because uh, that's 60, you know, and, and hopefully it turns sunny again. If it turns sunny again, we won't be using all this grid power. But the thing is, is I'm going to have the car warming up in the mornings and stuff and using it just like we would any vehicle. So, if I need to upgrade my battery storage, that way I don't use any grid power, and that might be an option. And the thing is, right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the uh, expand the solar. That way, these cloudy days, because if you look outside there, okay, it's not, it, it's it's cloudy it's it's the sun's trying to peek through it's a little bit of uh snowflakes blowing by out there okay it's trying to but the sun is trying to peek through but it ain't doing a very good job so i just wanted to show you guys i'm, I'm just trying to operate everything i can off of my solar that's the whole idea is to keep our expenses low. That way we can uh, actually have a house in the Philippines and a house here in the U.S. And uh, do that while we're retired. Some of the people, they choose to either have a house over there or have a house over here. And I'd kind of like to have both and be able to travel back and forth. So this is... Uh, the way I'm going to try and cut my expenses here and I'm going to put in solar in the Philippines also and we'll run an electric vehicle or it'll, it'll probably be a full electric vehicle in the Philippines instead of a plug-in hybrid so I just figured I'd show you this anyways thank you please like comment and subscribe